Matt with Shweepin' and Creepin', and today I will be reviewing the Swords mod. Now this is the new uh, place I will be reviewing all of the mods, I hope you guys like it, I spent a lot of time on it. It's just your basic city. Now I couldn't find a flat area in the world, so all I really did was place uh, stone bricks above a lake. So yeah, right under one brick block under this would be uh, just straight up lake. Anyway, now this mod is all about all these amazingly awesome swords it adds. And a couple of bows and tempered hilt and an empty, or no, a tempered empty hilt and a tempered edge. It also adds these gems, which are mainly for building the swords and some dusts that repair um, all your armor, weapons, and such. So uh, let's get started. So I'm going to use too many items to spawn myself a zombie e or some zombie eggs and. Uh, what else do I need? Definitely gonna need a lot of arrows, so just in case we'll spawn two full stacks of those. And yeah, let's get down to business. So first we've got... Let's start with uh, Venal Rapier. So let's uh, whip out a zombie. Oh, probably make it nighttime, huh? Let's uh... Take him out with that sword. Nothing too special. Now next we have... Let's uh, get rid of that. We have our Blade of the Hero. Which is based off of The Legend of Zelda. So let's uh, use that. Two hit kill. Pretty nice. And it does not break. Which is a cool feature. Let's get rid of that. Then we've got the Chosen Blade. Let's see what this can do. Two hit kill. And this one does indeed break. We've got the Divine Goddess Blade, the Sacred Goddess Blade, and the Goddess Blade. Now these are just upgrades of that one, so we'll use the Divine one, because I'm pretty sure this is the best. Two hit kill. Next we've got the Great Blade. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the end game item. Uh. Nope, it's not. Sorry about that, I thought it was. Three hit kill. Pretty good. Got the caliber blade. Two hit kill. Ooh, I got a rare drop. Yep, that's right. I'm a boss. Next, we've got the Aeon blade. Hope I'm pronouncing these right. See what this can do. Instant kill, that's nice. I'll go take out that creeper while I'm at it. That's right, son. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Next on our list is the Blade of Tau Radiance. I don't quite know what that means, but let's try it out. Double a hit or two hit kill, and it doesn't break. That's nice. We've got the Blade of Kao as resistance. Or radiance, not yeah, radiance, not resistance. My bad. <laughs> Two hit kill also doesn't break. I like this one more because it's blue. And we've got the Artura Axilion. Axilion. All right. Two hit kill. A lot of these swords do the same thing. We've got the Duff Cake Sword, which you can eat. It's just a. It's. Durability relies on you being able to eat it. That's pretty nice. The Miko's Blade. Three hit kill. Right, the Umbra Blade. Four hit kill. Oh, and this one revives your health a little bit, I think. The Megara Edge. Ooh, that one sets them on fire. That's pretty neat. I like that one. Got the Dionys Blade. To a kill again. It looks nice when you block with it. It's pretty cool. Got the Arturia Blade. To a kill. Nice, nice. Got the Blazing Blade, which is a fire blade, I think. Yep. 
not as good as the other one, but it sets them on fire. That's pretty nice. And then last, I think this is the end game one, the Titan Titania Blade. No, that one poisons them. I don't know why I thought it was the end game blade. I don't know. One of them is just really good. I forget which one though. Anyway, to build these, you just put. Here's the recipes for them. You can use dust to repair everything, which is pretty neat, I guess. Now, this is how you make the Duff Cake Sword. This is how you make the Miko's Blade, the Diana's Blade, the Venal Rapier, Ar Arturia Excelion. Well, that's how you. Oh, I get, I get it. This is an upgrading gem. This is how you make the Blazing Blade, the Umbra Blade, Megaria bl Edge, the Arturia Blade, the Chosen Blade, Divine Goddess Blade, um, the Blade of the Hero, Titania Blade, Sacred Goddess Blade, the Aeon Blade, that's really freaking expensive, Great Blade, this is how you make a Shadow Element Little Gem, the Caliber Blade, also pretty, pretty expensive. The Goddess Sword, that's how you make the Light Elemental Gem, the Water Elemental Gem, the Goddess Gem, the Earth Elemental Gem, the Fire Elemental Gem, that's how you make a Tempered Edge, and that's how you make a Hilt. This is the Swift Bow, and this is the Diamond Bow. Now let's try out the Swift and Diamond Bows. Let's quickly spawn a bunch of peoples. Now, the Swift Bow is just a rapid fire bow, which I really like. Which brings back the old nostalgic uh, rapid fire. It's actually really cool. Doesn't look like it does too much damage, though. And then the Diamond Bow has a longer range and is a little better than the original bow. Which is pretty nice. Collect my arrows, a mofo. Alright, and this is the house I made out of myself. Pretty self-centered to live in yourself, huh? But then again, who wouldn't want to live in me? Because I'm just that sexy. I think there's a zombie up here. Nope. Take that, my eyes. Oh, dang. I got rid of my picture. There we go. Take that, eyes. Hi, hi. Anyway... This has been Shweepin' and Creepin'. Thank you for watching our video. And if you have anything to say, just comment it. If you like this video, you can like it. And if you want to subscribe to us, you can click subscribe. You guys are wonderful. Leave any uh, requests for more mod reviews in the comment section below. And uh, have a nice day.